We're learning some new information tonight about last night's wrong way crash on Interstate 96 that left a man dead. The victim is 52-year-old William Foster of Wyoming. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Department says 32-year-old Heather Luke made a U-turn on eastbound 96 near Marne and then headed the wrong way, colliding with Foster's vehicle. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson spoke with the driver's family and she's live in studio tonight. We spoke with the driver's family. We also spoke with the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department and we do have some new information tonight. They described the crash as horrific and they have been able to determine today that Heather Luke didn't turn around on an emergency ramp on the median. Rather, she made a U-turn in the eastbound lanes of I-96 and headed the wrong way. It definitely seems like a deliberate decision too. It appears that way at this time. A deliberate decision that became a deadly one for William Foster. We know that as soon as she went back uh, the other way, uh, up to about 10 to 11 cars veered out of her way. And uh, when those cars veered out of the way, uh, the vehicle driven by the uh, deceased, uh, he basically had no chance. All of a sudden, that car was there. Ottawa County Sheriff's Captain Steve Kempker says the why is still under investigation. They're waiting for toxicology reports and to talk to Luke, who is still in critical condition. When I found this out, I just, I almost collapsed. Just, you know, I usually never have tears, but you know what? I, I was so heartbroken. I was walking in circles. I just couldn't believe it. Heather Luke's uncle, Albert Luke, had a hard time expressing today how shocked he was and how sorry he is for Foster's family. I hope the other people are just, I don't know how to express that, just, it's really hard. He says he doesn't know what could have happened on I-96 last night, especially since he says his niece was happy about a new job and a new SUV just two days ago. Heather's in bad shape. I, I, I don't know if Heather will even make it out of this. Now, we were told Foster, the victim, did not have dental records, so the medical examiner determined his identity from evidence at the scene, but they also should get a DNA sample back within a couple of weeks just to have definitive confirmation. Marley.